Before I let you go, I have to, uh, there are many things that I adore about you, but uh, one is <clears throat> your guitar playing, I think it's such a hard instrument to make yourself identifiable on because so m there are so many guitarists in the world. I always mm. know it's you playing. No matter what wow. effect you've done, I mm. always know it's you. Oh, that's so and good you've to hear got that. that very cool sort of staccato style that you play that just always speaks to me. Like, oh, mm. I know exactly who this is. Wow. Um, that's so great to hear that. It's it's wild because I grew up being a drummer and and I didn't I avoided the guitar because I thought everybody plays guitar and and just like you said, it's it'd be so hard to be unique and I think that kind of turned me off when I first sort of went to New York and L.A. when I was a teenager. I thought, oh, wow, this is like, every, it doesn't feel special. It feels like everybody's doing what you're doing. Right. Or there's 7,000, oh, you, oh, you're a drummer, big deal. There's 7,000 drummers here, you know, or whatever. So I thought, well, I should avoid that as much as possible. But then I realized it was kind of the only way to really, really connect um, all the pieces together and present it to other human beings in a mm -hmm. way. I mean, if you do poetry, yeah, you will find a, a, a certain amount of people who will listen and pay attention and get something from it. But you'll find a lot more if you put that to a melody, you know? And mm -hmm. if you're a drummer, you could connect to some people, but not really unless you sing something along with it or play, you know? So, so really the way to, to sort of connect with others with art, I mean, and, and music would is you have to sort of play that instrument whether you like it or not. I think guitar or piano. Yeah. And um, so I sort of picked guitar from kind of basically just teaching myself over the years when I was a kid to slightly how to play it. You know, I think maybe that has something to do with it. If you're finding it unique, when you hear it, it's probably because of uh, my disbelief that I could be unique with it right. uh, and sort of giving up on that. You know, almost like, oh, whatever, you know, I, I, maybe this will just get tossed on the pile with all the other guitar players. So I might as well not even try to be as good as them or try to be as interesting as what they're doing. I'll just use it as my form of expression. And really, I want to get to the story and the, the whole point of the song is what I'm trying to get at. This is just kind of a MacGuffin. So maybe that has something to do with it being. I, I still don't know if I agree with you that it, that it is that unique. But if 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 you're seeing that, maybe maybe it has something to do with those kind of ideas. Well, right? it is. I, I do think it's your the way you came at it is very different. And I don't not the only person that says this, but you're mm. playing when you take a solo and and eating your rhythm parts. It's very. I just know it's you, and I think so many people uh, when they. Uh, approach guitar, what they really want to do is have a Les Paul and be able to play very smoothly and get mm. this kind of, they, they want to sound like they're heroes. And I always think it's our failure to be our heroes. Mm. I mean, the people I grew up idolizing. Yeah. No, that's I, exactly I, what I was just saying. You, you, you encompassed it that yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, we'll edit great. it so you said it. Um, when I hear you, I don't hear a guy who was working necessarily on, I want to sound just like mm -hmm. Jimmy Page, or I want to sound just like this person or that person and have this really smooth, great, you you figured it out. You, you hear like a you guy miserably into... failing is what you're saying to me. <laughs> yeah. You're listening to the sound of failure. <laughs> you're so real time. Yes, 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 this is it, we cracked it. <laughs> you <laughs> fail consistently <laughs> and I, but by the way, why don't we get more people coming in to in, be interviewed this by This is me? the last one we had left, and so now we're done. Yeah, yeah, we've alienated everyone now. This is what I say to everyone here. It's your failure over mm. and over again, perpetual failure oh, that's uh, that's brought you to me. Hey, why is your guitar, why is it engraved Connie Stevens? Because <laughs> you know what it costs to have to your get, own name put in there? It's too many letters. Yeah. I'm at the Connie, Conan's at the Connie Stevens estate sale again. Um, <laughs> Listen, uh, I want to let you go. I want you to have a great day. Rest up. I'm going to come Thank see you, you uh, tomorrow. Um, and uh, I'm just, it's its a joy to know you. It's a joy to oh, know you. Oh, man, likewise, Seriously. Conan. Seriously. It really is. It really is. It's great. I was thinking earlier when you said that, you know, I, I think that you were the first uh, well-known person or celebrity that I ever saw in public and went up and said hello to. I don't know if you ever know. Right. It was a bowling alley I, in yeah. Detroit, and yeah. I was there shooting a remote and afterwards, the to the writer Tommy Blacha and I went to this bowling alley, <laughs> and I was bowling, and we were in a Detroit bowling alley that had like a bar next to it. 
And the next thing I know, these like cool young kids, <laughs> it was you. Yeah. Was Meg there? Yeah, Meg was in the next room. A bunch of the garage rockers were there. Yeah. And, but for and, about a week, I kind of kept kicking myself like, wow, I don't know why I did it. Why did I go up to him while he was sitting at a dinner table and said hi to him? I mean, that, I shouldn't yeah, have we, done that. But it was so uh, nice because we, we got along, we hung out, yeah. we chatted, and then cut to like, I want to say two years later, um, I see that you and... Meg are playing SNL, and I go up, and I don't remember yeah. you from the bowling alley. Sure, of course, because yeah. you were a kid. Yeah, yeah. And um, and I remember telling you it's your failure. No, <laughs> oh God, no. yeah. <laughs> that will be I your said, success. You're a failure, and that's going to make you a success. And you were really bummed. No, but I came up to you at SNL, and I watched you guys rehearse. Yeah, yeah. And um. Then you came over and you went, it's good to see you again. And I was like, again, I've not met <laughs> Jack White before. And you went, yeah, we met in, in Detroit. So you reminded me that we had met each other. And um, you were wearing a monocle, I think, at the time. Monocle, and, and a, a corn, corn, corn cob pipe you were smoking. Pipe. <laughs> and um, very good. This is all very good. No, but it was one of the nice you just said, do, 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 don't keep bringing up monocle over. You, you, you weren't saying bring this up as many times as you possibly can. That wasn't the challenge. <laughs> it says monocle times seven. Oh yeah, you do it. X. Monocle to the eighth power. Yeah. Well, anyway, monocle, 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 corn cob, corn cob, monocle. Um, I'm gonna have a corn cob monocle made for you, and I'll send it <laughs> to your wacky house of horrors in Nashville. Um, Jack, uh, yeah, that was a lovely accident that we met each other all yeah, those years ago, really was, yeah. and um, and we've kept it going. And then you were kind enough um, when we came up with this podcast. I, there was one song I wanted. Mm -hmm. We were gonna be friends, and you were like, "Sure, you an incredible price." We had to pay every time it plays. <laughs> um, you're living solely off those royalties now. <laughs> you haven't recorded anything <laughs> since. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't made a dime on this show yet. <laughs> we're in the hole. We lose six hundred thousand dollars a month on this show, <laughs> but because but I insisted on that song.